Welcome to I Love Stocks. We're going to talk about an aftermarket runner, one that Miss Vegas pointed out a couple days ago, and that's had a real nice run in 20 days. Kind of reminds me of GME in a way, but this one here is a cancer uh, fighting for Alzheimer's. So let's get into it. Sava, S A V A. Cassava Science. This is very interesting. The news article that's come out on it here lately. It talks about, um, let me see if I can find it here. Cassava go through the roof on Alzheimer drug trial results. So this came out about eight hours ago and it was very positive. And we know what Alzheimer's is. Somebody in our family or somebody we know has had it or somebody that's very popular, actors and politicians. and So yeah, this is real good news for SAVA and we're gonna pull up the chart right now and see if we can try to find some support levels and maybe try to get a play out of this. Miss Vegas said this thing was gonna to go to 100 and here we are, after hours, we had a high of 123.08. So I'm gonna draw a few trend lines in here on the 20 day chart, that's what I'm gonna be looking at. I'm very interested in this stock myself. That's just imagine 20 days ago this was down at 689 and it's ran all the way up to $123. So we're definitely going to pull back to it. Now if I was going to short this thing, I'd short it down to 7162. Maybe try to find a, a, a pullback support and maybe get us a dead cat bounce out of this thing. Not a dead cat bounce, but a reversal bounce. So these are my three support levels here that I have on the uh, 20 day, one hour chart. I kind of see something in here, and I'm going to just go ahead and bring this down to the five day, five minute, see if I can help me out a little bit. I'm trying to find something in here, something in here we go, right down in here. We got a support level between that and that. It's going to be your second channel of support, and then definitely that first one on this ascending triangle. So we're going to pull this line right here, and these are going to be your four support levels and I feel like raising this up just a little bit right up here to right up to that 73.52 area okay so our first support channel our third one is going to be a strong buy if it does just kind of knife on down here and start to retrace back up. It's going to be at 71.62 to 73.52. And then I really like this support channel for the third one between 683.47 and right here around 87.49, maybe a little bit higher. Actually, you could probably bring it up to about right in here at 89.59. And we're going to color that in. color that in for your third support channel now it could hit that pivot point area right in the middle at 87 like I said there at 87.11 we'll magnify this up just a little bit so we've got three little channels right here we got 83.47 for the low which is going to be the strong buy because it'll be the top of this ascending triangle that we have right here and that's a pattern to that first part to that pivot point of 87.57 to 89.59 Somewhere in here is going to be real strong buy for retracement back up to here. And that's going to be at 96.86 to 99.35. Now this thing can pull right back to this first support here at 107.08. And then bounce back up and re retrace back up. But that's going to be your first support. Like I said, your second one's going to be right in here at 99.35 to 96.86. And then your strong buy territory down here at 8347 between 8347 8757 and 8959 now if she doesn't hold this triangle resistance horizontal line we can pull back down to the 7162 so remember we're looking at the 20 day chart here and this thing was all the way down here at 689 20 days ago and she's ran all the way up to 123.80 so this is irrational exuberance, same thing we saw in GME and AC, AMC and a few others that were called out last week. And I do believe that this is going to pull back 
This is great news. Don't take me wrong. I really like the news on this stock. And this could bring the, the, the bar up to, by the end of the day, I'd see it's probably coming down here right around the 28, 24 area. So if you were going to go out in a leap or something, that would be a good little position to try to, if you're able to find you a good option. Or the lower we get, you know, the more expensive they'll get. But I would take it in lower increments. I think tomorrow I might come in here, play the bounce back up, and then play the dip on down long because I can't buy my put right now at after hours. But that's what my game plan is. So let's go over this again. We'll pull this back up to the daily. We've got a low support down here at 71.62 to 73.52. Long case scenario. And then we've got that third support between 83.47 and 89.59. That first, second channel of supports, 96.86 to 99.35. Then, of course, that 107.80 is going to be your first support. That could probably hold and retrace back up, but I'm going to see it pull on back down here and retrace it back up myself. And at Sava, also remember, we do have a website, and on that website, we have our links. We have our little Twitter link here. If you're not a member to our room, you can always follow us in here. We're up to 8,250 followers now. We're making some pretty good strides here lately. And also, on that website, we have our stock twits links and miss vegas is above me and here's mine right here please hit that follow us on that if you appreciate that we sure would appreciate that also hit that like button subscribe to these videos for future updates and this last one we did was sava s-a-v-a -A. i love stocks have a great day